Okay, so let's look at number six from the homework from section 4.4. So we have a distance problem. Two trains start from towns 250 miles apart and they travel toward each other on parallel tracks. They pass each other two and a half hours later. If one train travels 20 miles per hour faster than the other, find the rate of each train. This is a distance problem and distance problems always use the formula D equals RT. Distance equals rate times time, always, every time, okay? They want us to fill out this chart and charts are useful, but I'm also gonna draw a picture because a picture can help us kind of visually understand what's happening. So I have two cities that are 250 miles apart. We're not really given much information except the distance between them. I have two trains on parallel tracks that are traveling toward each other. It's nice that they tell you that they are parallel tracks, which means you don't have to worry about them crashing together, but you know, that's really all that they, that particular information adds. I know that the two towns are a total of 250 miles apart. So this distance from here, all the way over to here is 250 miles. Okay, now my initial plan for one of my two equations, because uh, although this can be worked using only one variable, we're in the section where we're using two. Um, I'm going, for one of my two equations, I'm going to find a way of talking about how far this distance is and also how far this distance is. And you can see that if I could have a way of talking about these two, I should be able to add those distances together and get the total distance. So that's my plan for one of my two. Um, my two. Um, let's start off here, okay? I'm looking for the rates of both trains. So that's the part I don't know. I'm gonna call this X and this is Y. Now, I don't know how fast they're going, but at least in math, I have a way of talking about it. Now, how long did they travel? Well, they both traveled two and a half hours. They started at the same time and we're asking how long, um, how fast they were going when they meet. So the time for both of these is 2.5, okay? Now this is enough information for us to find out how far they've gone. I take the distance is equal to rate times the time. So this total distance traveled right here, rate times time, that's going to be 2.5x, and this one is 2.5y. So this distance, 2.5x, this distance is 2.5y. Okay, so my first equation, I should add these two together. And it should equal 250 miles apart. Okay, so that's one equation, we need two. So I look for the information I have not used. I use that, I use that, I have not used that one was faster than the other. Now this particular problem does not tell us which of the two is faster. So it does not matter. If I know that one is faster than the other, one of the things I know is if I subtract the two speeds in what we would call a normal order, meaning the order that does not give you a negative number, if we subtract and one's 20 faster than the other, then I should get 20 as my answer. So if I take one train and I subtract the speed of the other train, the difference between them is 20. Now, we can do this since we weren't told which one was faster. If I was told that the, this one was faster, it would be in this order. If I were told that this train were faster, it would be y minus x instead. Anyway, I hope you understand that. This is what I need to solve. If I'm going to solve this using elimination, I want one of my two variables to go away. It's gonna be fairly easy for me to make my y's match with opposite signs. It wouldn't be too hard to make X match either, but this at least has opposite signs already. So if I wanna cancel out a 2.5, I should multiply this whole equation by a 2.5. That means I get 2.5X, I'm copying the first one, plus 2.5Y is equal to 250. Now multiply this through by 2.5, I get 2.5X, minus 2.5y is equal to 2.5 times 20 is 50. 
Now let's add these together. My y's cancel out as they should. I get 5x is equal to 300. Now divide both sides by a 5. And I get that x is equal to 60. So train 1 is going 60 miles per hour. Okay, how fast is the other one going? Because we are asked for each. I take this value and I plug it in somewhere. I think this one's a lot easier. That gives me 60 minus y equals 20. I need to move this 60 over to here. So I subtract 60 from both sides. And you get negative y is equal to negative 40. And you change the signs on both sides. And so you get y equal to 40. You could probably do this in your head. So what have we found? We found that one train is going 60 miles per hour. That's our faster one, which we applied to train one, although it wasn't necessary. The other train is going 40 miles per hour. And those should be your answers.